Hello guys, it is first video tutorial about application of ANSYS Fluent for simulation fluid flow. In this video I will show you how to perform a calculation of pressure losses in the pipeline. On this figure you can see example of a domain with designation of patches. It is inlet, outlet and wall. For calculation losses we have to define difference pressure between inlet and outlet patches. For most cases in reality we have turbulent type of a flow. Thus we have to use turbulence model. When we use turbulence model, we must to create a small mesh element near to wall. In most cases such elements is named prism layers. You will see them later. We have to calculate size of a first layer prism. It is a delta. So for this we must to define a value of the y plus. For k epsilon model, we have recommendation to have y plus uh, from 10 to 100. For example, we take y plus equal 30. It is my model in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, it is a uh, pipe uh, which has diameter 80 mm and uh, it is sketch with average line which describe the shape of this pipe. So we must to save it um, like step format. And we close SOLIDWORKS. Now we open uh, ANSYS Workbench. And we must to import our geometry to the window of the workbench. So now we renamed of our geometry and open it in design modeler. So here we must to click generate and now we see our geometry of a pipe. So let's close design modeler and connect our design modeler with ANSYS meshing. In meshing we create our mesh. Type of the mesh uh, can be unstructured and structured. In our case, we generate structured mesh with hex type elements. So right now we will be do named patches. It is inlet patch, it is outlet patch. It is boundary faces. It is all faces wall patch. So show all faces and now we create our mesh so methods we must do geometry and methods it is multi zone methods so click generate mesh and It, how we can see mesh is uh, very coarse so and they don't have boundary layers 
prism layers. Yes. Now we must to create our boundary layers with size of the first rectangle elements to the wall delta. Okay. In fact, no, not pitch. It must be inflation. We create for wall first layer thickness. Now we can to change global size element. It is three millimeters and generate mesh. So. Now we have what our mesh have a very nice quality mesh. It is hexa mesh with prism layers. Okay, split our mesh. You can see boundary layers. So um, this is our patches and now we close our meshing and to connect meshing with uh, model fluent. Now we open in the fluent and we def must define number of cores which we can to use and now we see main workplace in the fluent when we must set of all settings of our simulation. So It is solver type version based and uh, because we have turbulent model we must um, turbulence model for this simulation. It is chi epsilon model and we must choose water. It is our fluid in this simulation. Okay. You can see density and viscosity because we have is a thermal type. Okay, uh, for our domain we choose water, and we must to choose parameter of the our our boundary condition. It is velocity, velocity um, five meter per second, okay, and in the outlet boundary condition, it is zero Pascal pressure. Okay, uh, for wall, we have stationary wall, no slip. Uh, it is mean what velocity on the wall equal to zero. So, solution method first, second order upwind. We can use first order upwind or second upwind. First, it is more coarse method. So, this criteria of our residual and ok um, now we choose number of the iterations it is equal to 1000 and run our calculation 
Mm, okay, close. Calculate. Yes. After the calculation, we will see how to perform post processing. So Our simulation is complete and now we connect our um, solution with post-processing. It is open results, it is post-processing, where we can create um, different plans and fields of our parameters, velocity or pressure or y plus, or y plus, or different Yes. It is plan and we create a velocity field and now we to check our Y plus on wall. So, how you can see, Y plus is correct and it's mean what um, our expression give us good results. So, let's to calculate Let's calculate uh, pressure losses. It is difference between inlet and outlet patches. Outlet patches it is equal to zero. Inlet it is 10,000 uh, Pascal. 10,000 Pascal it is our pressure losses. And uh, we can divide it pressure to density of the fluid, our fluid and gravity and we can get our losses in head it meters so i will show you our mm, meshing so it is you can see what on wall the velocity equal to zero and time for plan show mesh lines okay so how you can see it is why we must do perform creation of the prism layers for boundary layers okay okay close and thank you for watching see you